Hello Interweb, thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, so if you've just watched the Haldex video, changing the all in the, the, the Haldex on the S3 behind me, um, it's up there somewhere, um, click on it, have a look if you've not seen it. Um, the next job I've got to do is the fuel filter. Now the fuel filter I'll take you around in a minute is located on the driver's side on this particular car, maybe different on European cars, but um, to me this is the driver's side, so the right hand side of the car if you're facing the front. Does that make sense? Anyway, you'll work it out. Um, so in theory, um, it shouldn't be too messy. What should happen, there will be some residual fuel come out, but as long as you leave the fuel, fuel filler cap on, um, it shouldn't siphon through. So you've got to be quick, but it shouldn't be too messy. So let me take you around to the filter and let me show you where it is. And then I'll show you how to change it. Perfect, eh? So we are, let me just show you in comparison where we are. So um, let me come this way a bit. So back wheel, um, front door, front of car, Audi sticker. We are literally just before the rear wheel arch and we are there. Now, as you can see, there are clips all over the place which are gonna come out. And there is, um, I think that's a Phillips screw up there. Um, which looks very crusty. It came out last time okay, so hopefully shouldn't have any problems this time. Oh, somebody's giving that bike some. Um, so right, let's um, let's get that screw out first of all, and uh, then we can get the clips off, get the fuel filter on. It shouldn't be too hard. It should be a quick job, haha, <laughs> as they all are. But um, yeah, if it all goes well, it's literally a five-minute job. So to be fair, that dropped out of tree. It's actually in plastic, so although the screw may be a bit rusty, it's holding, let me get you under here, this plastic cover. So that plastic cover now, as you can see, just lifts off. And uh, right, let's get the replacement filter, just make sure we've got the right one, and then start taking that one out. Well, looks good to me. Um, you can't get it the wrong way around because it has a flow meter on it. There you go. So it is a WK69 if you're buying a man filter. I tend to buy man all the time. Just trusted them for years. Um, oh, made in China. Mm, maybe I made an error of judgment. Uh, whatever. Right, so it's a WK69 uh, 2201. I guess that means it was made in January this year. Don't know. And apparently you can take 6.6 .6 bar. Okay, right, let's get the old one off. Okay, so trying to explain what I'm doing a little. Um, I've got some grips on there just to, to lever it, but I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me try and get you in close. On the bottom there, there's a little like a button. Yeah, you're not really going to see it on the camera too well, but there's a little indent there. You'll see a flat surface and a little indent where you push a tab in, and that tab releases the pressure on the actual filter itself and then it should slide off. Um, not easy, but again, perseverance. And there you go, I've got it off the barb, so now we just push it, and there you go. Not much fuel comes out, not on that one anyway, but um, as you work round, a little bit more comes out. But yeah, um, really not sure if you can see it, but yeah, a little tab on the bottom there. Just press it in and pull them off. There you go, and the very last one. fuel filter off yeah as I say those clips are they are tricky I'm not gonna lie to you they are tricky and uh, yeah petrol will spray <laughs> but uh, bring you out okay as you can see there's not too much in there um, look at that that's only been on a couple of years and it looks manky so it's a good job we're changing it um, out um, but this one, apparently, eh, different number. Oh, who cares? Right, let's get the new one on. There you go. As you can see, exactly the same. That's a male and that's a man. Male man. Ma man man, ma 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 ma. Ma 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 ma. Yeah, okay. Silliness over. Just before we put it back on them, um, just to give you an indication, just so you, you can't get it wrong as such, but yeah, just to, to be clear, there is a little tab on the top of the filter there which goes right up there in that little tab hole so up in there like that and um, that means obviously 
that's the arrangement you've got. So yeah, in theory you can't get it wrong, but you just gotta keep your eyes open. Okay, I wanna try and catch this bit just uh, just as a, a bit of information, but when they go on there is quite a satisfying click. Um what am I gonna do this with? I need two hands. <laughs> uh, let's try, let's try, let's try. No, I can't do it. But yeah, when they go on, there is quite a satisfying click. So make sure that happens. So there you go. Right, so that tab, uh, let me see if I can point you in the direction. That tab is sitting in its keeper slot up there, which means they're around the right way. Um, obviously that one is back in. So yeah, it, it's difficult to film it, but it's not a difficult job. Um, so the, the main thing is to make sure that when you're taking them out, don't force these pipes because they're only plastic again. Make sure that tab is pressed in and you'll feel when it goes in. And then obviously when you put the new filter on, um, make sure there's a nice satisfying click when these pipes go on and, and then you should be good. Right, let's bolt it up and then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. And there you go, we're back in place again. So uh, again, not difficult, um, just a little bit tricky. Um, but that's the new filter on. Um, so, from uh, from this part of these uh, series of videos, thanks for joining me. Hopefully this has been relatively helpful. Well, I hope it has anyway. I hope it's helped somebody out. Uh, again, if you take this to uh, to a main dealer, it's going to cost you. Uh, the filter itself was uh, was less than a tenner, to be honest. So it's, uh, if you can do it yourself, all well and good. Uh, took me, well, video in as well, probably all that good three quarters of an hour I guess uh, but I could have done it in 10-15 minutes I'm sure without videoing and messing about uh, the trickiest bit is obviously getting these pipes out um, but the key is that little tab there it's, I know it's really difficult to see um, but press that tab in and that pipe should shoot straight off um, again try not to force them too much because they are plastic and uh, yeah they could break right that's it for now thanks for joining me uh, the next video uh, pretty much going to be a standard uh, oil filter change and I think cabin filter as well so uh, yeah catch you later guys thanks for joining me bye bye